How can the effective use of design increase the viewer's experience? Well, design is about use. The designer needs someone to use, not only to appreciate what they create. Design doesn't serve its purpose without people to use it. A beautiful design has no function if no one can see it. Design helps solve human problems. The highest accolade we can bestow on a design is not that it is beautiful, as we do in art, but that it, that it is well used. Unlike art, design is always contextual. It matters when a design was created because of the context of its use. What problem is it supposed to solve? And for whom? At what point in time? This is why design is so related to technology, because technology changes so quickly, and so must our designs. A design that worked 10 years ago might not even be worth considering today. History is littered with wonderful designs that are no longer necessary. Design shapes the visible environment and delivers information to everyone within it. It is a functional way of conveying messages with purpose. Design affects daily life in mundane and extraordinary ways. For the designer, design is a creative journey. It's a process of discovery that is fueled by inspiration and creative passion, as well as the desire to enrich and ignite communication. Designers are the engineers and craftsmen of visual messages. Design is an intriguing evolutionary field, and the designer must constantly adapt to satisfy the challenge of the ever-changing needs of communication. Although design and designers continue to advance and diversify, the basic foundation of design lies in the understanding and the application of the fundamental layout. This course is dedicated to these fundamentals, examining the function and importance of visual communication. We will look at the broad category of layout from function, inspiration, process and intuition, to structure, hierarchy, and typography. We'll also examine colors and grids, and then deeply explore the relationship of the aforementioned by going through some examples in depth. The objective of this course is to educate and inspire, as well as to promote creativity while encouraging the design of strong, thoughtful, and informative layouts. I hope to engage you emotionally, intellectually, and visually, and most of all, share the wonder and beauty of design. Remember, the function of graphic design is the communication of messages through the juxtaposition of words and pictures. Graphic design affects human experience from the most mundane to the most extraordinary ways. Great design is invisible. An interesting property of great design is that, is that it is taken for granted. It works so well that we forget the creative effort that was involved to bring it about. Sometimes, like take for example the lowly spoon, the object is so simplistic that it seems obvious and we disregard that at one point in history it wasn't. Other times, like with cars, the objective is so sophisticated yet easy to use that we're blinded to the fact that millions and millions of human hours went into getting it to this point. That's a shame. Every great design has a rich history, and every design has behind it a designer or designers who tried to make the world a better place by solving some problem or another. Bad design is obvious because it hurts to use it. It's awkward, it's difficult and complex. The great irony of the world is that bad design is much easier to see than good design. It wraps us on the head like a bully. Because of its success, great design is often invisible. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Simplicity is treading a line, knowing what to keep and knowing what to throw away. It comes across as magic when it works because none of the complexity is transferred to the users, only simplicity. And this is the highest achievement for a designer.